Hey guys, it's your girl Mahogany again, back with another video. So in my first video, if you haven't watched, I talked about legislation and their plans on capping travel nurses pay and shared my passion and opinions. Um, so this week I did a little bit of reading. Um, I read a short article on nurse.org, nurse.org, sorry. And um, in the article, it talks about mental health in healthcare workers. And it talks about a travel nurse named Michael O'Dell, who during his shift actually walked out, said he was going out to his car to get something, never returned to finish the rest of his shift. And a couple days later, his body was actually found. They are still trying to rule out if it indeed was a suicide or not. Um, anyway, healthcare workers definitely experience a lot of mental health during this pandemic because, I mean, it's been a lot. We went from being essential workers to getting this emergency pay because there were so many patients in need of help and hospitals so shorthand to mandates of if you don't get vaccinated you will be fired to oh you have COVID how bad is it if it's not too bad you can still come into work to now capping travel nurses pay so we went from being you know these essential workers to really being disposable at this point and in the article, it actually talks about the White House and their initiative, which is to donate $103 million in American Rescue Funds specifically to address the mental health in healthcare workers. Well, I will say it's a start, but we could use more i will say um i feel as though healthcare workers in general should just get free health care which includes including the mental health um why we deserve it we've been through a lot during this pandemic we've done a lot a lot has been asked of us and we were able to deliver. It was very hard, but we were still able to deliver. And as I said in my previous video, we held up. We were the backbone for this healthcare system to keep it running. So I don't feel as though that we're asking for too much by saying, well, healthcare workers should have free insurance. Why not? We need to take care of ourselves so that we can continue to take care of patients, correct? Okay, well, let me propose something else. If, you know, the White House says, oh, no, we're not gonna do that. Well, then how about you cover our student loans, right? Something that we don't have to worry about paying back because you need nurses, so why not cover our student loans? I don't know, just my thoughts, but I'm really pushing for the free health care. Actually, I'm pushing for both. Let's be honest. I'm pushing for both free health care and to have our student loans paid for. Because like I said, this country has asked a lot of us. And in return, what have we gotten? We've gotten a president that enforced a mandate, which forced nurses out of the door, even though they were there from day one in the hospitals, putting themselves at risk. But they came up with a mandate to get us up out the door. And now you're coming up with capping travel nurses pay to stop pay. Like I said, we've, we've delivered. Now it's time for you guys to deliver and take care of us and show how much you appreciate us for all that we have done and we continue to do. Again, 
these are my thoughts, how I feel, what I feel that we should be pushing for as nurses. Again, I love everybody out there. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. I appreciate you. If the hospitals don't appreciate you, if America doesn't appreciate you, I appreciate you. And I send my condolences to the family and friends of Michael Odo. Thank you.